Baby language such as mama, tetsu, and chichi is a language that adults generally use when communicating with babies. When parents talk in a high pitched rhythmic tone, babies feel more fo focused and feel closer. Apparently, dogs like this kind of baby language as well. Several studies have shown that dogs follow owners better when they speak in baby language slash voice. If you give them words full of affection, they respond with lovely eyes, kisses, and jumps, forming a deep intimacy many times over. It is said that the relationship formed this way also affects the dog owner, making them less lonely and helping to prevent dementia. So I hope you have a happy day with your dog or a good friend or a loving family member with your own baby language today. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Avo Kids Lie to Me. It's time to explore different musicians here on Music Lab. Today's guest is beloved by our Radio Clock family and listeners. We have singer songwriter Teu. Welcome back. Woo! Hey guys, this Hi. is Teu back to Radio Clock. Yeah. Miss you guys so much. How are you? I've been really good. It's yeah. been a while. I thought it's my first time seeing you in the studio, but I saw you with Yoon Hui. We did before, yes. Yes, performing May Day. Yeah. I don't know it's why. It's like January or February. I don't remember exactly, but. Are you sure? It feels more long ago. Yeah. 
Time I don't flies. Know. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for being here. The weather is very gloomy. Um, Every time I come to... <laughs> really? <laughs> always is it? Gloomy Was it rainy. like that last time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. <gasps> but you came last October when our season just started. Yeah, yeah. So it was like s- six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah, in October of last year. It wasn't no. this year. It was this year. No, our writers, May no, writers official. Really? Yeah. Okay. Next, last year, October. Okay. We have no sense of time because it's just going by so quickly. Yeah, right? I, I don't have any like concept of Yoi. You days. don't know what day it is. Yeah, we well, know it's what day Thursday, it is. just to Thursday, let you okay. know. <laughs> okay. um, we were talking about baby language in the opening, and I know you have lots of nephews and nieces. Yeah. Do you talk to them in baby language? Uh, baby languages? I don't use some, you know, certain terms like "dechi" or, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like use some sounds like <laughs> when they were really, really a baby. Uh huh. I used to make funny sounds to mm. make them laugh. Aww. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you your voice tends to get a little higher though, right? A little yeah, more yeah. high pitch, yeah, right? Yeah. You wouldn't talk to them like yeah, 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 yeah. because they they I heard I read some article that baby is scared of. You know, man, low, low oh, voices. deep voices. Yeah, yeah, so. so how how do you sound to your ba- to your nephews? I always use like. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it goes very high. Yeah, oh. like song. Oh, yes. like falsetto. Falsetto, ah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so welcome back. It is May, and May is the month of family. And we my birthday. <gasps> when is your birthday? May second was my birthday. Oh my gosh! Happy yes. belated birthday! Thank you so much. What did you do? Uh, actually, I went to. Uh, Daegu to see my nieces Aww. because it, like my birthday is pretty close to uh, Children's Day. Yeah. So I went there to see them and celebrate my birthday together. Together, yes. Oh, such a family guy. Yeah, I miss him so much. So I went there. How many nephews and nieces do you have now? Now four. Now four. Yeah. So did you have to buy them gifts on Children's Day? For sure, because <laughs> I, I actually I'm not that kind of guy who cares about those anniversaries mm-hmm. or special days, but exception is my nephews and nieces because I, know. I have to. Oh, <laughs> such a good uncle, <laughs> man. What about for parents' day? Did you get your parents anything? Oh, I didn't get him a gift, but I, uh, I, I gave, um, about a really good dinner Aww. for my parents. Okay. So it was my first time in my life. Buying them dinner? <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> so they were so surprised that I, and I actually pretend to uh, go to a uh, toilet oh. and I actually paid. Mm. And my dad was like, what? Ah. My brother was also, you're not going to regret it. So <laughs> <why not regret? laughs> you're not going to regret it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they must have been so happy yeah, getting treated happy. to their first meal by their young baby son. Okay, look at you. You're all a grown up now. I'm grown up. You're a grown up, an adult. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Um, but you're here today to talk about the latest song that was released, which is called Moonflower. Moonflower, yes. Can you tell us a little about Moonflower? So, you know, the, there's a sunflower, yes. which uh, follows sun mm-hmm. until the sun goes down. Mm. From, the, from sunflower, I uh, popped up some idea of a uh, new concept of moonflower, mm-hmm. which only follows moon until the sunrise. Oh. Then I used some analogy that moon as a person whom I can love only in the nighttime. Ah. And I said moonflower as a person... It's kind of a second lover to a moon. Mm-hmm. So the moonflower is uh, uh, always waiting for the moon. Mm. But I'm, the moonflower is not a first lover to a moon. <gasps> it's a pretty sad story, right? Yeah, it's sad. But the, the key message of this song that I wanted to tell was that, you know, the love mm-hmm. and happiness is not completed by the person whom I love or the situation. But my uh, shape of myself, who uh, which sincerely love someone else, mm. that makes the the happiness of love. So even if I'm the moonflower, mm. I'm still happy because the uh, because of the fact that I have a person that I s- can sincerely love. So I don't care about the situation. Oh system. wow! Yeah. Getting deep. Are you yeah. really like a moonflower in this song? Can yes, you be I do. like that? It's, th- it's not my story, but I like it. You, you can be like that in a relationship. You you could just look at one person forever, even if they, you know. I mean, if I'm a second or a third person. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, don't do that to yourself. You but deserve to be number one. Because yeah, there's a reason why I make songs. It's not my story, but I can, you know. Yeah, I imagine. Imp yeah, I imagine yeah. stories and, you know. Okay. Well, Moonflower doesn't have a music video, but if you could make a music video, have you ever thought of like a vibe or like a storyline? What kind of aesthetic you would want? Um, Definitely in the nighttime. Nighttime mm -hmm. and uh, some bed. Bed? Yeah. Okay. And a uh, moon person. Moon person? Moon person <laughs> leaves when the uh, sun goes up. Okay. And the moonflower stays. And sad faces. And sad faces? Sad faces and uh, wait until uh, the moon comes up again. Oh, that is just so heartbreaking. I'm not that good at, I think, you know. Directing? Yeah, directing. <laughs> so <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah, we'll leave that to somebody else. Okay, okay. Yes. Only lyrics and melodies, okay? Yeah, when you said moon person, <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> I imagine someone with a big moon mask, like, just sitting there all sad. Uh, but one of the lyrics, it says, um, Moonflower wilts at 7.05. Yeah. So 7.05 in the morning, right? Yeah. And why specifically 7.05? Good rhyme. I knew it. Because <laughs> it rhymes. Yeah, I always choose just random words that has a good rhyme. It fits to my, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you say like bright, yeah. night, yeah. so five. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know Perfect. it too well. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it would make a good OST as well. If you yeah, yeah. Have you ever thought of what drama or genre of movie this song would suit? Oh, I actually uh, reminded of some movie. Uh huh. Uh, the name was Time Traveler's Wife. Time Traveler's Wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The American film, right? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. The the whole story is not exactly fit to the theme of my song, but the the time traveler mm -hmm. always leave the girl, right? Yeah. And the girl always wait. Mm hmm So maybe <gasps> that kind of oh. yeah fits to that kind of movie. Yeah, person. that would suit it. Yeah. If you could um, cast your favorite actors, who would you cast for this movie that features this song? Moon person as <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> moon, bad, moon person. Bad moon person as Ashley. Bad moon person? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. then who's the good person? Good person? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a little... I feel so sorry to that moon person if I, uh, you know, pick someone. Why? Because it's a... In a sad position. So? So? Sometimes those are the best characters to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get right. the most sympathy from the viewers. Yu Byung Jae or something? You want to pair me up with Yu Byung Jae? Oh, but, oh you know, cool. It's, okay. It's, it's, I've it, never it, thought of that combination, but it's yeah, cool. Yeah, but I think he's, he's, he can make really good set faces. Do you want to be? Do you want it to be a comical one? Because I can do a comical one. Uh, no, I thought it would be like a serious one because no, you no, brought no, time. I mean, like, you were talking about Time Traveler's Wife, but then all of a sudden really, you bring up Yu Byung Jae. He's really serious when he trying to act the set face and yeah, crying. Yeah, I know. He, he's really good at fake crying and stuff. I know. I could just imagine his sad face right <laughs> okay. now. But Okay. Um, also, if you look at the credits of your song, we see a certain name very often, and he is Tohu. Yeah. Who is Tohu? Tohu is my, uh, you know, my closest friend and also uh, my, the producer of my... Most of my songs. Oh. We met in the vocal play when I was uh, when I was 23. Oh it's wow. It's like 2019. Uh huh. Uh, we actually paired as a team, mm. and after that, since our backgrounds and you know the situations are really similar, so we got close really fast. Mm. And uh, I introduced him to my management firm, uh -huh. and now he's one of my member. Oh, he's in the same label. Yeah. He is signed. Yeah. Oh, wow. So before that, he was like an independent artist. Yeah. <gasps> but he's he's really good singer, mm. but also a really, really talented producer. So I used to produce my own songs, you know, but I think from some point, I thought that it would be more efficient if I share our jobs, oh. that I focus on composing and, you know, writing lyrics uh -huh. and, you know, and then, the, like, first producing arrangement, mm. and then pass it over to Dohu to finish the arrangements to more, you know, yeah. To sound Good a little level. more complete. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how is that process working out? Do you think it is efficient? It's better than... It's really efficient. Oh. Because he already know what I wanted to express in the song, <gasps> even if I just send him a demo or, mm -hmm. you know, draft. Oh. So. 
Oh, he releases his own music as well, right? Oh, his music. I think his music is. Some songs are really, really good, better mm-hmm. than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite song by him? Something you want to recommend our listeners? Uh, he recently released his first EP, uh-huh. and there was a, there is a song called "Some Island." Oh. And it's. Oh, is this yeah. it? His voice. Does he play his own instruments yeah. too? Wow. Wow. Like his voice. Yeah. Are you guys the same age? No, he's like. Kusa. So, uh. 94. One year older than you? No, I'm Kuchil, so. Oh, sorry. I thought you were 95. <laughs> <laughs> 95? No, because I keep thinking you're the same age as my little brother for some reason. But. I. I I think I told you before that I'm younger yeah, than you. Yeah, you probably told me like seven <laughs> times. I'm sorry. Bad with memory. Oh, but we would love to have him on. Can we have you guys together on the show one day? I, I really I really love to, but I think he's, he's a little shy and speaking shy? in English. Oh, no, he, he could speak Korean. Yeah, but I'll, I'm actually convincing him. Yeah, but let's do it. Yeah, he's going to come pretty soon. Do you guys have any songs together? We, we are actually planning to make our Perfect. tour. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Duet album. When yeah. that comes out, you guys can perform together and then he'll be like a little less shy. Yeah, I'll, then I'll, I'll promise you I'll, I will give you guys uh, the best live performance in <gasps> okay. 2023. <laughs> because he sings well. <laughs> better than me. You guys both sing well. What are you talking about? <gasps> I can't wait. Oh, d- have you thought of like a name for your duo? Well, it's going to be a... Why? It's like... You have a silly idea? No, I... You know... Uh, He's Do and I'm Teo, so like, I don't know. Say it. <laughs> no, no. Say it. <laughs> Both who, yeah, rhymes. Tohu Teo. Do Teo? So we'll think of what this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll be looking forward to Tohu coming out on Radio Clock. But for now, we're going to listen to your live performance. Okay. It's uh, my turn already. Yes, wow. it's your turn. <laughs> what song will you sing for us? Oh, I'm going to sing my new single, Moonflower. Moonflower. Okay, yeah. so please go and get ready. Okay. We have a special stage for you now. And while we listen to Teo's amazing vocals, we got a quiz for you. Which one of these songs is Teo's debut song? Number one, Moonlight. Number two, Pause. Number three, Hometown. Number four, Mayday. We kind of gave you a hint because we told you guys that he came out on recently for one specific song. So that's obviously not his debut song. So which of these is Teo's debut song? One, Moonlight. Two, Pause. Three, Hometown. And four, Mayday. If you know the answer, please send them to our YouTube chat. We have a live stream going on. And we'll be right back after Teo's live. Are you ready, Teo? I'm ready. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> Never come in the daylight Probably the last thing on your list now It's too often it makes you cry But I like it if you're down down You're the only thing I have now But only capable when sun goes down I'll be on it till the morning Before that, I will leave, don't you worry Baby, we've been through a lot of Nights and small talking Sometimes it makes me think that I'm the one who knows you the most You don't have to hide if you really want to cry I can be your morning sun but I'm on the floor for you You and I, we will lie Underneath the thousand stars Playing all the songs we got Sunrise, we say goodbye. You're the moon shining bright. I'm moonflower, will to seven five. Just tell me what you ask for. I'm happy if you want more. Want more. No more. Want 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 more.
Husky and you. unique vocals. Man, it feels good to hear you sing again. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our listeners are saying Rick Gauss is always a treat to hear him sing. Rick Gauss is bro, your song makes me feel things. Say say Jesus, the emotions he sings with, where are my tissues? Say say Jesus, definitely my favorite Teo song so far. Wow, thank you. Mm, is it your fav? Is it your favorite song so far? I think so far, yeah. Really? Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, Tigger Shear says, "This is amazing, Teo. Thank you for the spectacular performance." Thank you so much. Walgang says, "Teo, 님은 고려대 출신의 얼굴도 잘 생기고 노래도 멋지게 잘 부르고 못 갖춘 게 뭐예요?" Oh. That's the only thing I have. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot. He no. said. He said, "Hey, you are. You're from a prestigious college. You're good looking. You're good at singing. What don't you have?" And he said, "That's all I have." But that's. that's no, all there's a lot of more important things in life. <laughs> like, oh, like what? Like. Like what don't you have? Like. See, you can't name it. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's so many things, so I can't. I can't name it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, CCG says, Teo added again with the genius lyrics. Leon says, yes, I'm always mesmerized by his beautiful vocals. And while you were singing, our listeners came up with some name for your duo. duo. Yeah. So since it's Teo and to Teo and Tohu, yeah. they said Tedo. Tedo. Yeah. Te attitude. Yeah, attitude. Or also Tehu. Tehu. <laughs> What do you think? T A E H U. Tehu plus tohu. Tehu. Tehu is like, you know, you know, you know the word tehu? No. It's oh, back? It's Emperor's wife is tehu, you know? Oh, yeah. so that's an amazing name. Tehu, yes. <laughs> so. Tehu or tedo? Which but one's better? Thank you for a good. He's like, okay, thanks, but no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have some messages too. Say Say G says, hi, Teo, congratulations on the new single and great work. Even though I love all your music, I think Moonflower might be my favorite yet. The words have really comforted me. I didn't know I needed this song until I heard it. Your music gets better and better every time. From exceptional to even more. Will you give your fans a name anytime soon? We've been waiting, but I'm sure you'll choose a wonderful name. Also, if you have to describe your music with a color, can you tell us what color it would be and why? It's good to see you again, Teo, and happy belated birthday! Thank you so much and really appreciate for your good questions. Weren't you thinking of a name for your fans since like you were on sound? Actually, I, uh, I had a vote. Yeah. Maybe a year ago. Okay. There were some candidates, but I actually uh, chose the name Teng Teng Boer because oh, my... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Teng Teng Boer. Yeah, that, Tang Tang Boer. You chose that. Yeah, it's Tang official. Tang Tang Boer is good. Oh, it's Tang Tang Boer <laughs> is official. I yeah. remember that. Because Tang Tang Boer is so cute. My closest friends always call me Tang. Oh, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Tang Tang Boer. Okay. You know, your name is Tang Tang Boer now. Yeah. Also, yeah, if you could describe your music with a color. Wow, that's really a good question, I think. How about, how about your idea? What do you think about oh. the color, if you can describe? Maybe like a maroon. Maroon. Maroon <laughs> colored. Wow, that's uh, really good. I don't know. Something like a real deep navy, I think, Ooh. comes to mind as well. Like almost like a midnight blue. You know, kind of like the back of that yeah. iPad color. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like you midnight like that blue, midnight yeah. blue. Because I actually thought, thought of uh, some gray or dark color, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think 
if there is no, uh, you know, what is that? To uh, Bucheseg? Yeah, if it's too like yeah, yeah. monochrome. But if I had to add some color on it, blue is perfect for me. Yeah, I like that. Okay, midnight blue. Midnight blue. Okay. Uh, Mochi says, happy reunion to Teo and Ashley. Teo, congratulations for new song release, Moonflower. I really love the song and even blast the music to my sister. Will Moonflower have music video or behind the scene for the photo shoot? Hmm? Behind, any behind the scene content from the photo shoot oh. or music video? Um, Not that you know of. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember exactly, but it was fun. Okay. Well, <laughs> she says, you look so good in the photos, too. Are you a part-time model? But anyway, Moonflower for me is both a love song and comfort song. Every line of lyrics is so precious. 역시 천재 태우님. As always, thank you so much for bringing love and comfort through your music to me. So blessed to know you, and I'll keep spreading your music to others. 항상 응원합니다, 우리 태우님. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm really glad that when my fans... Uh, give me a compliments about my lyrics mm. because when you know when I uh, f uh, released my first song, mm -hmm. most of my most of the feedbacks and compliments were about my voice. Usually, oh. well, there were some good words about lyrics, but you know it's Mostly getting more and more compliments about lyrics. I really mm. like it. Oh, that's good. Because I think uh, my identity as an artist, singer songwriter, is really really think really important mm -hmm. about lyrics so i'm really glad that f my fans you know feel the yes. same way your efforts are paying efforts off my, yes you know, yes yeah. um okay so we gave a quiz before your wonderful live performance which one of these was teo's debut song can you tell us the answer the answer is the answer is pose <laughs> Two <Sorry. pause>. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we should have warned you in advance. But yes, it was paused, released on 2021 May. 2021 May. So it's been almost, it's been two years. Exactly two years. It's been exactly yeah. two years. How does it feel? Ah, oh, time really flies, I think. It's like, I still remember the first moment that I saw you mm -hmm. and having a live performance of Pause. Yeah. With that blonde hair yes. and guitar. Yeah. It's already been two years, my God. That was awesome, dude. We need you to bring your guitar again. Yeah, yeah, guitar so cool. Guitar <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, guitar yeah. How's yeah. guitar rang doing? It's taking a rest these days. It's taking a rest. <laughs> <laughs> because I usually don't play that guitar to make song these days. Uh, so, yeah, he's taking a rest. Okay, good for him. Okay. Yeah. Um, when, you when you were talking about your song, Pause, you s mentioned that, you know, there are moments in life where you could just press the pause button, right? True. Is you, there you remember exactly. Well, it's written here. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. I read that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Has there been any moment recently when you really wanted to press the pause button? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there was a moment. Uh -huh. that I told you that I went to Daegu to see my ni nieces in, uh, in Children's Day. Yeah. So we went to uh, Lollojang. Oh, roller, roller skating yeah, rink. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because I knew how to ride roller. Mm -hmm. So I actually plan to teach him how to ride roller. How old are they? They're like 11 and 9. Oh, okay. Well, That's like, a good age. Uh, international age is like 10 and 8. Oh, okay. Right? So we went there. Mm -hmm. uh, we rode together. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, my nieces were way better than me. <laughs> so for two hours, I couldn't catch him. They always play away, but I couldn't <laughs> catch him. like, Samshira Wick, what job Was it their first time writing it? I heard it was like third time for them, oh. but they were so good. Well, they learned know, so they're fast. They're like smaller and they're like... And I also like... They're what? Um, you fell. Bala. Yeah, oh, I fell. you fell so on your like, butt. Yeah, yeah. So because I try to, you know... You like know, dodge. Do and dodge some kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor, were you the biggest one there? No, no, no. There oh, were okay. lo lots of fathers. Lots of adults. <laughs> to... Oh, okay. So why did you want to pause that moment? It was so... I don't know. I, uh, I took a lot of pictures and I just... You know, I was actually... Uh, after a ride, mm -hmm. I was taking a rest mm. and I just watched him ride on roller mm. skate. And so all of a sudden I thought that oh, time is really fast because they were li just like little babies, but now yeah. they're all grown up and ride roller skate faster better than, than you. me, faster than me. <laughs> and like, there's so, that was so touching. It's really hard to explain mm. why that moment was so precious, but <gasps> just watching them was 
Yeah, it was so complicated. Oh my gosh, too. You're already feeling like this when they're your nieces and nephews. What are you going to do when you have your own kids? So I'm a little scared about having my own kids because, you know, you know, uh, concentrating on somebody else, not me, mm -hmm. is a really, I think, really, really a good thing, but also a really scary thing. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. And also, yeah. you see your nephews and nieces like once in a while, but you have to see your kids every day. That's, that's going to be really... It's going to be tough. Tough, really tough. <sighs> yeah. Just thinking about it is scary. But anyways, oh my gosh, we're like talking about... Like, <laughs> fatherhood and motherhood now oh um God. no let's talk about your other song that okay. was released in march called coffee, coffee yeah. do you like coffee i like coffee. i i think i like coffee or i'm addicted to it i don't know but i love coffee this song is also about the feeling that i'm not 100 sure about whether i'm really like coffee or addicted to it mm. but i need it <gasps> uh -huh. and use analogy coffee to uh, some lady yeah. Yeah, mystery lady. Mystery lady. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you when you were in the team with Pom Sing Yuk for Sing Again, your yeah. name then was also Mixed Coffee. Mixed Coffee, yes. Yeah. So you really, you're really addicted, or you really, really like coffee. Uh, mixed Coffee was my idea. Yeah, actually. It was your idea. Yeah. Yeah. Unconsciously made it. I I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you think you're addicted to how many cups of coffee do you have a day? Usually two. Oh, that's not bad. It's like t three or four shots, maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Yeah, I, I think you're you're a coffee you coffee lover too, right? Yes, I love coffee, but I only have like one one a day, max two, but just yeah. one in the morning. I think morning coffee and after lunch I need it because I'm I have a 식곤증, food why the food food coma food coma yeah uh -huh. a really serious food coma so and caffeine helps yeah mm, okay and um this song is all in english except for one word chumshim. yeah are you planning on making more english songs now yeah and probably this year m most of the songs will be written in english because oh it was like you know i've been always wanted to write mm. songs in english because the most of the songs that affected me and i really like to listen to was mm. most of uh their English lyrics. Mm. So it was really natural for me to write songs in English. Uh -huh. But I, at, when I well, right after I uh, had my own debut, I thought that because I'm a, I'm a Korean yeah. and I release my songs in Korea, so I need to use Korean lyrics. But now I just decided to make whatever I want. Yeah. And however the way I want. Do whatever yes. you want. Yes. Yeah. And in the lyrics, you mentioned um, TikToking stops when you walk in. Yeah. Do you are you are you addicted to TikTok too? It's not TikTok. That TikTok. It's oh, <laughs> someone. Are you addicted TikTok. to TikTok? <laughs> no, I'm not on TikTok. But I just automatically thought you were talking about being on TikTok and like when your <laughs> lover walks in, you have to stop because it's like, hello, focus like, on me, attention yeah. on me. Yeah, 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 I yeah. thought it was like that, but you meant clock TikTok. Yeah, clock TikTok. Okay. What if you know the Someone's meaning is meaning is not you know. That doesn't change if that TikTok or that TikTok. No, because I thought I, I was going to ask, like, have you gotten in trouble for being too, on TikTok too much before or yeah, something? That's, that's because, <laughs> because you wrote it in the lyrics. But oh, no, yeah. it was okay. TikTok, TikTok. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anyways. TikTok and walk in. Rhyme. Yeah, rhyme. You yeah. love your rhymes. <laughs> um, so apparently on this Saturday's corner for Would You Playlist, our theme is what songs I would like to play if I could open my own cafe. So yeah. I wanted to ask you, if you were to open your own business cafe, mm -hmm. what kind of ambiance, what kind of mood do you want it to have? Do you want it to be like cozy or very modern and minimal and chic or anything you want? It could be by the beach, it can be in the mountains. Yeah, but I think, you know, the songs I'll play uh, in, in caf my own cafe will, mm -hmm. you know, the, depends on the, the time of the day or the, oh, the season, right? okay. Because, you know, it affects the people's uh -huh. mood and feelings. Yeah. But I usually like some, uh, maybe at the daytime, some uh, rhythmical songs mm -hmm. with uh, groove, fast groovy songs. Uh -huh. And maybe um, in the morning and... Late night, some cozy vibe. Yeah. Chill vibe. Mm, okay, okay. I'm gonna mix it and I also put my songs 
in in Full there. Full of my yeah, songs yeah, yeah. first, <laughs> and then and others. And Tohu songs. Tohu songs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you put uh, some ladies' code songs too? In yeah, the yeah, daytime? For yeah. Sure, thank for you, sure. thank you. So if you um, could have your own cafe, like what kind of vibe would it be? Ho oh, ho! What kind of vibe? Yeah. What kind of vibe cafe do you usually enjoy going to? I I like some spacious. Places. Oh, big. Okay, so definitely not in Seoul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seoul, it's very hard to and have. And this, this kind of vibe, this is like... Oh, very like clean, modern, yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, can you imagine spilling coffee on this? How are you going to clean it? That's going to be a pain in I the butt. I think I got to change the color of the floor okay. into the gray or something. But yeah. I think the color of the sofa and the walls is really... I think I like white color. Okay. N- yeah. I won't be going to your cafe. I, I but also <laughs> want to... Put some DJ table. Oh, like turntables and stuff. And after like eight, Extra the, eight? the the cafe turn, turns into some lounge. Oh, okay, yeah, like a bar slash yeah a cafe. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so yeah. let's take a listen to Teo's release, Coffee. And if you guys have qu- any questions or messages for him, let us know. But for now, we'll be right back after Teo's Coffee. <laughs> Blue jeans, red lips on your cuffs, babe Couldn't wait till the morning being honestly Tick-tocking, stops when you walk in We ain't in no single word for explaining From when I'm out of time, no even starving now You're the only one who break on my morning yarn These days I'm worrying a little bit about our thoughts of you, baby you're the sweetest coffee in the morning Espresso after jump shim Sometimes work late night Exceptional extra coffee I need you baby Too often maybe Whoa It's your the sweetest coffee On the weekend All day long talking I sipping like it's kissing on you I'm standing in the end of the weekend But everything's flawless Cause all I need is Morning and the coffee with you this day is bad when I try to choose what to drink and start a move for last station on my head. The man who got too many options. If I had too much caffeine, I know I gotta get the caffeine. Clock will say we got tea fine. No, I can choose the whole thing, but I will never choose another thing. Or softly kiss on the surface. Sign into sweet things. What I need is oh yeah, it's you, baby. Two shots always. Whoa. You're the sweetest coffee in the morning Espresso after jump shim Sometimes work late night Exceptional extra coffee I need you baby Too often maybe Whoa. You're the sweetest coffee on the weekend All day long talking and sipping like it's kissing on you I'm standing in the end of the weekend But everything's flawless Cause all I need is morning and the coffee with you Morning and the coffee with you Morning and the coffee with you You're now listening to and watching Radio Clock on both Arirang Radio and TV. Radio Clock, time to watch radio. Today for Music Lab, we have Teo in the studio. And we have a few more messages for you, Teo. Leon Teo says, I miss you so much and I just want to let you know I've been a huge fan of your music and have been following you before your official debut. Thanks for always making such amazing music and I hope that you know you are such a talented singer-songwriter who can even rap well too. You deserve all the love and support in this world and I hope that you achieve whatever you hope to achieve. Um, Question is, Galaxy, especially the moon, has been a common subject in your song lyrics what do you think is the reason for that really good question i think um i i think i'm pretty resemble with the moon maybe mm-hmm. because it's it's really bright and shines the others you know 
but because it's too bright sometimes the stars are invisible because of the moon mm. that makes me feel like the moon is so lonely sometimes mm. you know mm -hmm. and moon is a really good subject to write a song about mm. because it has a lot of aspects that can explore it to write some lyrics yeah, yeah. Oh wow! And okay. also, yeah, and it also spins around only Earth, right? Mm -hmm. So many, so many uh, themes can come out from the moon. Ooh, so we're gonna hear more like songs about the moon. You think? Because you have moonflower, you have moonlight. Occasionally, what's I next? Think. Moon, mm. moon, moonflower, moonlight, moon shine, moon. moon. Maybe just moon. <laughs> just moon. <laughs> There's okay. no moon, so yeah. Okay. Oh, Taeyongi says hello, Teu. I'm Taeyongi. I hope you're doing all right. This is my second message here. I have no question, but I just want to say thank you for everything. Literally, I'm happy to know you. The world is better with you. Love you so much. And your new song, Moonflower, was amazing. And all of your songs will be always amazing to me. Always love you and support you. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> really, I'm get a lot of energy every time I come to. This yeah, studio. you have so many fans. Reminds me of the, of the fact that there are always fans and people support and loves me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So don't be discouraged. Always remember this. Okay, I will. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, we have some balance game questions for yeah. you. So are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. What do you think will come first for you? One, a full length album, or B, a solo concert? No. Um, a or B. Hmm. Maybe B. B? Yeah. Solo concert will come first? Yeah. Wh no? When is the full length album coming? Do you have any plans? I think, you know, um, I think before the solid album. Uh huh. Before that EP should come out first, mm. I think. So I there's a step, one more step to get to a, a solid a album. LP yeah. album. Yeah. Okay, how about a concert? Do you have something planned right now or? in the works no <laughs> okay are you but sure your, your face looks a little sus i think i did a lot of practice for it ah, too okay. because i've never seen a you know four or five songs straight mm. in live performance true it's, i heard that i heard from my you know uh artists and like a uh, singer friend friends mm -hmm. artist friends yeah they said uh doing our live performance is really hard singing straight few songs yeah so. you got to do it for like an hour and a half yeah. Yeah. And also talk. Yeah, and I, talk. I'm I'm really a talk lover, so. Yeah, you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can I invite you by my Of concert? course. Okay. What do you mean? Of course, I gotta go. Okay. Let me know. Okay. okay. I'll bring you up to the stage and let's no, have a. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> okay. Not that. I'll I'll run away. <laughs> okay. Um. Next question is: Which one is harder? A. Getting up really early in the morning, or B. Getting through the day without using your smartphone. Oh, I think getting early in the getting up early in the morning is not that hard for me because you know, yeah, I do it a lot. What time do you usually wake up? Ten. Ten a.m. Yeah. What time do you sleep? Three. Oh. But if I have to, I wake up like at seven, eight. Oh, wow. So you Isn't have no early? problem getting up early. Yeah, no, yeah. because I just assumed most singer-songwriters always work during the late, like midnight. Yeah. And they sleep in the morning. Yeah. So we thought that it might be a struggle for you, but you have a healthy lifestyle. I also do a lot of, you know, uh, music stuff mm -hmm. late night, but I have to sleep before 4. 4 a.m. That's like kind of a my, uh, max. Yeah, yeah, ah. max. If, if I pass that, time then uh -huh. it's the tiredness is way different ah so yeah okay before, okay before. so getting up is easier mm -hmm. um and then next one is when you need a little dose of alcohol yeah. which combination do you enjoy more a soju and samgyeopsal b wine and cheese or c beer and some snacks uh, without a doubt a a soju and samgyeopsal yeah. is soju your favorite yeah. type of alcohol it's not about the uh, anju actually but the the drink the drink yeah soju is the what does it taste like why do you like that it has a lot lots of different tastes it depends on your day it tastes like your mood 
made like alcohol. I mean, like that's what it is, but it tastes like artificial fake alcohol. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Okay. Because I because you know because of the hangover, I think. And wine and beer, when you when you drink wine and beer, I think you drink but also have to digest those drinks, you know. You you understand that? Soju is like a um, you know, vaporized drink. Okay. So you just drink it. Uh-huh. But wine and beer is you drink but also you have to digest it because ah. it's it's half food, I think. <laughs> and that that gives me a really strong hangover, so mm. I don't enjoy wine and beers. Oh, uh, maybe you don't do well with like fermented drinks. Yeah, fermented drinks. Not even makgeolli. Yeah, Mak- I hate makgeolli. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I like whiskeys and soju. Soju. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Next one is if you could, if you had a time machine, would you rather go back to a the past or b the future? Definitely past. Past? Why? Because future is gonna come. Okay. But past is, even if I want to go back to past, I cannot do it. If the future, if we just steady and wait and alive, mm-hmm. future is going to come 100%, right? Is there a moment in the past that you want to change? Yeah. No, not change, but oh. I just want to go back and witness the situation that I've experienced uh-huh. and just, you know, say some few words to the, the people or person I loved. Mm. And mm. I that's feel the, you. Yeah. That's it. Okay, okay. Well, speaking of going to the past, uh, we're going to listen to another song by Teo called Hometown. Hometown. This is also with Pum Seung Hyuk. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little about the song? Hometown is, uh, you know, Seung Hyuk and I, we met in the Sing Again, mm-hmm. as my, most of my fans would know. And he also from uh, Gyeongju, mm. and I also uh, from uh, Ichan. Mm-hmm. So we live, we're living in Seoul, but we had a discussion about the the missing feeling about you know hometown mm. or hometowns home cities so and home buddies so let's write a song about it oh so we wrote it okay let's take a listen then this is hometown by Teo and Pom Seng Hyuk
miss my city hometown. No one I hometown. All I need right now. All I need right is my city hometown. Download the Arirang Radio application. Type in A R I R A N G. Arirang Radio on your App Store. Download it and listen to Arirang Radio. 88.7 in Jeju City. 88.1 in Seogukpo City. 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Channel 144 on Sirius XM in the U.S. Arirang Radio. Tune in Arirang Radio. Geek Diggy says, I forgot how good Teo's songs are. Hey, say something. You didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Pink says, thanks for coming, Teo, and see you next time. Take care and all the best in whatever you do. Tigger Shira says, Teo came to heal our souls today and ease our minds. Uh, 월강 says, 홈타운으로 돌아가고 싶을 정도로 따뜻하고 정겨운 느낌의 노래네요. It makes me want to go back to my hometown. Such a warm song. Um, well, it's time to say goodbye, Teo. Already? Wow. Yeah, time flies. Time flies. Is there anything you want to say to our listeners? Ah, thank you so much for inviting me again. I always feel like it's home every time I come back to Arayang Studio. I'm really good to meet Ashley again. And I'm going to be back with better song, That Moonflower. When? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Because okay. I, really, I release songs really... Uh, Really fast these days. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll be looking forward to hearing your new song. Yeah, in before it's too late, I'll be back. Okay, we'll be looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming out today. And our last song is Tohu's Hum Island. Hoping that you guys can come out together. And thanks for listening, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye, Tohu. Bye bye. <laughs>